Hi there, my name is Craig, I'm from Healthy Cornwall. Welcome to our 30 Ways in 30 Days circuit session today. So what are we going to be doing today? We are going to be doing a small circuit that we can do for any level. So I'm going to give you a couple of different options per exercise. You see I've got a chair here, so we'll do some seated bits and pieces as well. We're going to do our first two rounds are going to be one lower body exercise, one upper body exercise and a cardio exercise. And then our third round is going to be a core set on the floor, which enables us to cool down. And then we'll go into a stretch afterwards as well. So we're going to do upper body, lower body, cardiovascular and our core. So a bit of everything. As I say, we can play around with each exercise to make it slightly harder, slightly easier, depending on where you may be. Before we get started, if you'd like to use any weights in this session, you're more than welcome. We can do this all body weight if you wanted to. I've got some light weights here, so they're four kilos each. You could also grab a two litre water bottle, so that's going to weigh two kilos, get a couple of those, or some tin food if you wanted to use those as well, anything to add a bit of resistance. Before we get started, if you have any medical conditions, please make sure your GP is happy through the exercise. And if you have any conditions that may need you to warm up for slightly longer, we have a warm up video on our YouTube page, which gives you a seven minute warm up. Today we're going to do a pretty short warm up, about three, three and a half minutes, just to get ourselves mobilised. Then we'll do our session, then we'll do our core and a stretch at the end. So any need to grab your weights, please do so. Make sure you've got a drink if you need one. Chair, ideally against something so it doesn't slip and slide. And we're going to get started with a quick warm-up. So our warm-up is going to be about three to three and a half minutes long. You just want to take your heels just outside your hips, hands onto your thighs at the side. And we're just going to roll slowly side to side, just getting the spine nice and warm and waking up our core muscles. So the whole idea of our warm-up is we loosen everything off, get ourselves ready for exercise, and we bring our heart rate up nice and slowly. So if you're going to go on a score of 10 on your warm-up, you should be looking about 3 to 4 out of 10 by the end of the warm-up. And our main session, we're probably between 5 and a 7 out of 10. So just warm up that spine as we roll side to side. And let's just roll our shoulders back a few times. Staying nice and tall. So you can see, keeping my shoulders back as I roll them down the spine. Also, you tuck your shoulder blades into your back pocket. Just bring the arms in, just loosen off. And then we're gonna do the same at the front. Just rolling forwards. I feel like spraying a bit of WD-40 into our joints just to loosen ourselves off for the session. Right, let's start to bring our heart rate up nice and slowly, just with some heel digs out to the front here. So as we tap out there, nice big stretch, take it as far as you feel comfy. Again, if you want to hold onto your chair, more than welcome, we can just spin that chair around here, look, aid our balance there. Then from there, let's just take it to the side, just tapping, we'll do five of these on either side, and then we'll go to a rear tap. Counting's not my strongest point, we'll do one more just to make sure. And other side, there. So we're just waking up the glutes on the outside. We're gonna do some squats in our first round of exercise. Just do one more. Then we're gonna do a rear tap here. Alternate, so you're gonna take it in turns. Stepping back. You should feel yourself getting slightly warmer as we move. Just adding an arm curl as we step back. That's going to bring our heart rate up slowly. Doing it at your own pace. Okay, start to put the heels up. So your own speed, just kicking the heels up towards the bottom. I'm going to come through to the front, so driving our knees up, hip flexors and quads, getting warm, up to the hand, again, as far as you feel comfy, and if you want to do it, hold onto the chair, just take it in turns, there, do five each side, and then swap. And let's just open up the hips as we roll around, there. I 
a couple of squats. So heels at side side of the hips, down, there, standing tall. And those big muscles working. Quads at the front, glutes at the back. And then we're going to go to a lunge. It's an alternating rear lunge. You can take this as far as you feel comfy. So here, there. Again, you want to hold onto the chair for a bit of extra support, a bit of extra balance. Please do so. If you feel comfy enough to take your hands away from that chair, we can get the shoulders involved as well by bringing an arm out here. There. Left leg, right arm. Right leg. Left arm, getting our coordination before we start the session, warming ourselves up, a little jog on the spot. If you don't feel comfy jogging on the spot just yet, just go nice, fast, tap. Again, we're looking sort of three to four out of ten for our warm up. Five seconds more. Three, two, one, shaking loose, that's your warm-up complete. So our first round of exercise is going to be a squat, and we can play around with the squat. So you can either use a weight, if you're going to use one of your weights, so your water bottle, your tin food, or your weight here, keep it nice and close to the chest when you squat to protect the back. Because if it's further it goes away from the back, you'll start to go with your lower back here, and that causes a lot of pressure there. We can do it as a body weight squat. Or if you're really not comfortable, if you're a bit wary, just do a top squat here, doesn't have to be that deep as far as you feel comfy. Just keep tapping your feet for me. Just keep moving once it goes through the first round of exercise. Your second exercise is going to be an upper body, so it's going to be your tricep. So we're going to do a tricep dip on our chair here. So sitting on the edge of the chair, coming away from the chair, and you dip here. If you feel a bit wary about doing a tricep dip with your body weight, then you could do a tricep overhead here. Uh, let's go that way. So it's there. Keeping the whole arm still and just extending from the elbow and working your tricep here, okay? And then your cardio is going to be a half star or a star jump. So our half stars are there, so we're taking out halves. Or if you feel a bit more comfortable, then we go to a star jump. So we're going to get 30 seconds on, 15 seconds rest, whole way through. So your first one is going to be your squats, either body weight or with a weight. Grab it for me now. In we go. So when you're squatting, your heels are just outside your hips, and you're down and up here. There. Chest and shoulders staying up. Weight close to the chest, or you've got your body weight. There, exactly the same movement. Or with our chair, our top squats. There, got 10 seconds. Whichever feels best for you. So I'm gonna do it with the weight here. Squeeze the glutes at the top, drive that weight up. Drop it down, shake it loose. So our next one is our tricep dip or our tricep overhead. So you're gonna slide for five seconds off the chair here and dipping close to your feet are, more support you'll have. In we go, there. Or you're taking that weight over your head. And then the tricep overhead here. Whichever suits you best, in you go, keep going. Staying on that same arm for me. So again, further away, 10 seconds. The feet are from the body. The harder that's gonna be. Chest stays up. Keep looking forwards for me. Three, two, one. Coming up, our next exercise, our cardio. So our half start there, or our star jumps, whichever you feel happy doing. Five seconds, keep tapping the feet, keep shaking loose, get that circulation going. So half stars, there, or our star jumps. How many reps can you complete? Remember we're looking for that five to seven out of 10 on your heart rate score, how hard you're working. Three, two, one, shaking loose, going back to that squat next. So again, you've got your top squats with the chair. There, how deep do you feel? Your body weight squats or your weighted squats. Mix that. Three, two, one. 
So breathing in as you're going down, breathing out as you're coming up. Balance your heart rate. Breathing's crucial. There. As deep as you feel comfy, 90 at the knees, ideal, no lower. But again, take it as low as you feel comfortable. There. Toes pointing slightly out allows your hips to travel a lot easier. Three, two, and one. Shaking loose. So next, keep the feet tapping for me. You got a tricep overhead. There. On the opposite arm. All your tricep dips. Again, closer your feet, the easier it becomes. Three, two, one. Really focus on the muscle you're using. So squeeze the triceps, squeeze the back of the arms as you extend. And as your tricep dips, maybe make it easier, bring it in. There. Or take that weight over your head. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Half stars next, back to your cardio. So half stars are full stars. Halves, there, half at a time. Nice big step. Oh, we got our star jumps. Remember, five to seven out of 10. In we go. So keep that pace up. Keep your chest up. There, try not to roll the shoulders over. Stand nice and tall. Oh, we've got a half star. There. Three, two, one. Shake it loose. Last round on this first set. So you your squat coming next. So either again, chair support, your squats, body weight squats, or with a weight. In we go. So again, keep the shoulders up, chest back. And sinking down, driving up. Really focus on squeezing the glutes at the top of the motion. There, squeeze, making those muscles work. So big muscles, quads and glutes. Great exercise to do. Three, two, one. Triceps. So again, you've got your overhead. We'll swap halfway through. So we're using both arms or your dips. Five seconds. So again, the closer you are, the easier it is. Three, two, one. So if you're doing your overheads, I'll tell you when to swap side. Three, two, one. Swap your sides in your overheads. Last 10, really squeeze those triceps, squeeze the arms at the top. Two, one, shake it loose. Last time through, half star or full star, whatever's easier for you, whichever you prefer. Remember five out of seven, five seconds till we go. Keep the feet tapping, keep moving. So half star, there. You're doing your full stars, keep that pace up. There. That's it, keep going. Last one through on this round. Last 10. Three, two, one. Shake it loose, guys. Grab a drink. Then we're going into round two. Keep his feet moving guys. So round two, we're gonna be doing another lower upper cardio. So your lower is going to be a curtsy lunge, very, very posh, of course. There we step back. Ooh, got the chair on the way. So we're just gonna activate the glutes on the sides. We step back, great for shape, great for balance. If you wanna make it slightly more challenging, again, you can pop a weight just like we did with our squats here, there. And if you're a bit concerned about balance, use your chair. Here for support and just take a step to the side there exactly the same motion so that's our lower body our upper body is going to be working our back and our shoulders we're going to do the delt ray so you need your weights water bottles cans back nice and flat here look my neck's in line and looking 
My high line's about here. And I'm just coming up. Elbows just off lock. There. Nice and soft. I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together. If you're worried about balance on this one, you can do it just one arm there and hold onto the chair. There, look. Or you can still do it, just squeeze the shoulder blades without the weights as well. So that's our upper. We're all in lockdown, probably feeling a bit like prisons at the moment. So we're going to do some prison squats for our cardio. So your hands go to the top of your head there and you're up and down as many reps as you can complete there for your cardio. But we're going to do that also if you feel more comfortable just as a top squat there. So I'm going to grab a timer quickly, which I've moved. One second, keep those feet tapping for me. And again, we're going to go 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. So our curtsies are coming first. Grab your weight if you need them. In we go. So the weight goes against the chest here. We're curtsy lunging. There, working the outside of the glutes. Do it without your weights if you'd rather. There. Or using that chair for a bit of balance and support. So again, chest stays up. Nice big step for the work on the outside of the glutes. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, shaking loose, upper body next. So we're either going to do the nice flat back, eye line by a meter in front, squeezing the shoulder blades together without the weight, or one side and that balance goes on that chair, trying to prop the chair against something. In we go. So one arm, two arms, with the weight, without the weight. There, you see my elbows are off lock. I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together. My back's nice and flat, my core is engaged. Ten seconds. Breathing in the way down, breathing out on the way up. Shake it loose. So we've got those prison squats, hands going on top of the head, toes pointing slightly out, heels just outside the hips, and we're up and down. There, keep the feet tapping, or a half squat if you'd rather. And again, you can always hold the chair if you'd rather have that bit of balance. In we go. How many reps again can you complete? Heart rate nice and high, giving that full range if you can. By keeping our hands on top of our heads, it means our core has to work, it makes it a bit harder. So again, comfy at your own depth, 10 seconds, or holding onto that chair if you'd rather for a bit of balance and support. Three, two, one, shaking loose. So we're going back to the lower body, back to those curtsies with a weight, without a weight, keep the feet tapping or holding onto your chair if you'd rather. Five seconds till we go. I'm gonna pop the weight on my chest here, nice and close, taking that big step, keep the other one out of the way. So again, Great for our balance, great for our glute strength, and also glute shape as well. Because we're working a different part than we normally would do. 10 seconds, we are testing the outside of the glutes. Three, two, one. Shaking loose. Again, rear delt flies. So the back's gonna stay nice and flat here, my eye line. About a meter in front of me, keep the neck in line. I'm squeezing there, or I'm doing it without my weight. There, squeeze the shoulders, or one side only, holding onto the chair. In we go. Again, elbows off lock, nice and soft. Squeeze the shoulder blades, and holding the core nice, flat back. Breathing on your way down, out on your way up. 10 seconds. Dropping them down. There are prisoner squats. Keep those feet tapping for me. So your hands are going to go on top of your head again as you squat. Depth is your own depth, or if you're feeling you want a bit of balance support, just do a squat with the chair. Here we go. Again, how many reps can you complete? Getting the heart rate nice and high. We're looking between a five to a seven out of ten on your work rate score.
If anyone's at an eight or up a nine, start to slow it down for me. Five, four, three, two, one. Shaking loose. The last time through on this set. So you've got your curtsies coming next. So again, with that weight on the chest, without the weight there, we're holding onto your chair for a bit of support. Here we go. There, nice big step. Chest staying up, shoulders staying back. Working the outside of the glutes. So you should feel it when you step, working the outside, the each side. 10 seconds. When we can do this, hold on to your chair if you'd rather. So here, for that support. Two, one, shaking loose. If you've been doing the chair version with one arm, I'll tell you when it's halfway through, you can swap sides. Five till we go. So again, you can do this with weights here or without. In you go. Nice flat back. Eye line about a metre in front of you to your neck in line. And you're squeezing the shoulder blades. Breathe in your way down, breathe out on your way up. Cool, sorry, stopping early, 10 seconds. There's me cheating again. Three, two, one. We've got our cardio coming, keep those feet tapping. So remember, prisoner squats, very apt for lockdown. Your own depth, five seconds, or holding onto the chair, doing a squat with balance. Three, two, one, in we go. So again, my toes pointing slightly out. That gives my hips room to move. If your toes are in, your hips have got nowhere to go. Sinking down. Again, the depth is up to you, whichever you feel most comfy. Ideally, we're looking at 90 degrees at the knees and driving back up. But if you're doing tops, absolutely fine. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Shake loose, grab a drink. We've got round three coming. For our round three, we're going to be on the floor doing our core. We'll be calling our heart rate down, then we'll go to a stretch. Grab that drink. So for round three, we're going to move this chair. We're going to choose it on mat. So heart rate's going to come down as we're doing our core work, which is great for we're going to our stretch. You're going to need one weight or your bottle of water or a can. Just one is absolutely fine for this. Our three exercises for this one. And again, we're going to do 30 seconds on and then 15 seconds recovery. So our first exercise is going to be a Superman. So here, my back is nice and flat, my core is engaged. I'm compressing the space between my tummy button and my lower back for that support. My hands are directly under my shoulders. My knees are directly under my hips. I'm going to take my right hand away, my left leg back, there, nice and slow and controlled, there. To make it slightly easier we need to, we're just going to do our hands and then our foot. Our hand and then our foot there. But ideally, both at the same time, slow and controlled. So that's your superman, that's your first exercise. Your second exercise, you're going to need a weight, or you can do it without if you like. We're going to do a very small crunch. So here, you're going to pick the weight up and lift our shoulder blades up off the floor. And you're literally here, going to crunch your ribs there, basically your ribs to your hips, eye line looking up there, keeping your neck in line really small. If you find that a bit hard, go to a basic crunch here, hands face your thighs, roll up nice and slow. Try and keep your lower back nice and flat to the floor. Or as flat as you possibly can. There, so that's exercise number two. Exercise number three, we're going to work the glutes. So we're going to get that weight here. You're going to go onto your back, place the weights on your hips, and all we're going to do is from our heels, we're going to lift up and squeeze our bottom at the top of that lift and then back down for me. If you find it hard with a weight, just do it without a weight there. But really focus as you come up squeeze the glutes. Okay, so that's our three exercises. Getting set, getting ready. Let's grab my timer. Again, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. First exercise is going to be that Superman. So heels under your, sorry, knees under your hips, hands under your shoulders. In we go. So one arm away, one leg away, 
nice and slow and controlled there. Again, slow is key. If you find that tricky, one leg there, one arm here, one leg, and then one arm. Ideally, both at the same time. Slow and control. Keep that core balance. Two and one. Going onto our back from that crunch. So we've got our weighted crunch. Here, small crunch where you're squeezing the tummy muscles. Or we're going to roll up hands from the base of the thighs to the top of the knees. In we go. If you can, keep your shoulder blades up in this one, off the floor. That's going to mean you're loading that weight the whole time. You see, it's a really small movement. I'm not grabbing the back of my head. I'm not pulling up my neck. It's just my core that's working. And again, it's nice and slow. And that's that control through the core. 10 seconds. So again, your modified option is here. Hands face the thighs, rolling up. And again, slow. Two up and two down. Shake it out. We're back up and we're going to do our glute bridge. You're getting that weight placing on your hips, heels, nice and tight in here. And you're going to drive up five seconds till we go. And you're going to squeeze the glutes at the top and that weight's going to stay on your hips. Here we go. Again, if you find this too tricky, take the weight off. I'm going to make it slightly harder, either add weight or, like I'm doing now, don't let your glutes touch the floor. So you're loading that weight the whole time. 10 seconds, really squeeze the glutes all the way from your heel, drive up and squeeze, two and one, down we go, dropping that weight, we're going back to the supermans, so again, my hands are directly under my shoulders, my knees under my hips, my lower back's nice and flat, compressing the space from my tummy and my spine, and it's going to be both at the same time or one at a time, here we go, slow, Squeeze the glutes as you extend, nice and long. How much distance can you between your fingertips and the end of your toes? Slow and control. Lots of balance involved. Again, you can do one leg and then one arm there, one leg and one arm if you'd rather. Two, one, down, going into the crunch. So again, we've got the weighted crunch. Here, or our modified crunch, there. In we go. So weight up, try and keep your shoulder blades up off the floor if you can. Eye line, looking up towards the base between the ceiling and the wall. That's keeping my chin off my chest, keep my neck in line. And nice and slow, squeezing the ribs to the hips. Really activating the core. Move on to the modified. Perfect. All the way through here. Again, hands, base of the thighs to the knees. Nice and slow and controlled. Squeezing up and down. Two and one. Shake it loose. Got that weight on our hips. We're going to go into the glute bridge. So we're squeezing the glutes all the way from the heels. There, five seconds, either with or without your weight. Two, one. Here we go. Up and squeeze. So the weight's on my hips. I'm really squeezing the glutes at the top so that they're firing. So again, big, big muscles, working those. Great for core strength. People often just focus on their tummies. If we can get our glutes and our back strong as well, even better. 10 seconds. Drop our head down. One more round, so we're going to go back into that superman. So again, hands under my shoulders, not nice and wide. Nice compressed space here, excuse my builders downstairs drilling, probably hear them now. Three, two, one, in we go. I thought I'd beat them, but they started drilling again, I can't give them enough coffee. Slow and controlled. Or we can do leg and then hand. But ideally you're doing both at the same time. Three, two, one. Going back into that crunch position. 
So either with the weight, heels planted to the floor, nice flat feet, shoulders up, small crunch there, or modified crunch, hands rolling up, keeping the chin off the chest. Then we go, really squeezing that core with the ribs traveling to the hips, eye line to the distance. Let's keep my chin up off my chest. Ten seconds. So again, your modified version. There, rolling up. Squeeze the core at the top, nice and slow. Shake it loose. One last exercise, and then we're going to have a good stretch. So putting that weight onto our hips here, or without the weight, we can do our glute bridge, or we come up and squeeze the glutes. Three, two, one. In we go. So as I'm lifting up. I'm squeezing my glutes, making those muscles work. You want to make this harder, and I don't let my bottom touch the floor. So I come down, over, and squeeze back up. There. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Dropping down. Good work, guys. So we're going to have a, a quick stretch, grab a drink of water if you need, and then we'll go into our stretch. So as we're laying down the floor, we may as well stay down here. So for stretching, take a nice lie down, definitely earns it. Just bring one leg up. You can see that my hamstrings are not flexible. I'm sure a lot of you have got a far better stretch going on than I have. So you should feel this down the back of your legs and your hamstrings. Three two, one, and the other side. This side's even worse for hamstrings. You can see, that's awful. I must do some more yoga. Just breathing nice and slow, bringing your heart rate down. Three, two, one. I'm gonna roll onto our front. So my forehead's gonna go onto my forearm there. As I pick my heel up, squeeze the heel towards the bottom. You're stretching the front of your leg, your thigh, your quads. Five, four, three, two, one. Swapping sides for me. Again, forehead onto your forearm. Squeeze the heel towards your bottom. Nice deep breaths, relaxing. We're slowing our heart rate down. Three, two, one. Let's stretch off the lower lung, but open up our hip flexors. So keep your weight on your right knee, bring your left knee up for me. Bring your right hand up, lean forwards. That's gonna open up your hip flexor. Turn the right hand to the outside of your left knee, and your left hand is gonna travel around. It's gonna open up across the abs, lower lumbar, and your hip flexors. Five, four, three, two, one, swapping sides for me, left knee down this time, right knee comes up, lean forward, it's going to open up the hip flexors, left arm comes up, I'm going to take a stretch, left arm round to the outside of the right knee, right arm's going to travel all the way around the back, I'm going to open us up, across the abs, lower lumbar, hip flexors, five, four, three, two, one, let's just rock back, bottom onto your heels, walk the fingers away, Feel that stretch all the way through the back as you sink down. Five, four, three, two, one. Come to a stand nice and slow, rolling your head up slowly, slowly, slowly. Roll the shoulders back, gradually getting bigger. Bring the arms all the way in, hands to the base of the spine here. Bring the chest through, nice and tall. Pull the elbows back, shoulder blades back, open up the chest. Give it a good shake, tap the feet. Roll the shoulders forwards for me. Again, bring the arms in. Nice big roll. Hands, standing sort of things, just bring behind each other. Chin down, push forwards. Three, 
two, one. Give everyone a good shake. Roll it off. Give yourself a round of applause. Thank you, guys.